Microsoft just released Thier New Windows app, and if you haven't heard of it before, let me tell you how it works. It functions like a remote desktop, giving you full access to your Windows from just about any device, like your Android or iOS. But it has some flaws, which I'll share with you in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, this app is also available for Windows, which you can access through the Microsoft Store. But it has a problem, and we'll talk on it in the end. Now, I have installed this Android tool and connected my phone to it so that I don't have to record the phone's screen separately. But you can do it directly. Just open up the Play Store and type for Windows app in the search bar. You'll find this app called Windows App Preview. Just click on it and install it. Once it installs and you open it up, you'll see an interface like this. Just skip this process and move forward. Now, here you can sign in with your Microsoft account, but make sure the account type is work or school because personal accounts won't work. But if you don't have a work or school account, you can still move forward without signing in on Android. So just click on PC connection and a menu will open up like this. Here, enter your PC name or IP address of your internet connection. Make sure to try both because sometimes it gets stuck and an error pops up while making the connection. Once you're done, save the PC, and it'll show up here. Now, click on it. And this menu will pop up. Here, you'll need to enter your Microsoft account details, which is connected to your PC. Once that's done, continue with the process, and it will start creating a remote connection. While it's connecting, let me tell you, I had lots of problems while making this connection, and I'll share my thoughts on this app at the end. So, finally, the connection is made. The screen might look to you a bit stretchy, but it's because of the phone's screen size. And yeah, it's not that much smooth, but it is working. Now, if we talk about it on Windows, then you'll need to sign in before proceeding, which means you can only access it on Windows if you have a school or work account. In conclusion, the app has lots of bugs right now, and they may fix them over time. But for now, it's not that optimized, so I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. And that's it for this video. My friends, thanks for watching. Take care and bye.